What's up guys, United Gamer here, welcome to Sly 2, Band of Thieves Part 7. In this part we're going to be starting Episode 2, let's go ahead and get started with it. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige. And maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. So I Cooper and the gang in a starry eyed encounter. Alright, so how you guys been doing? I know you haven't been seeing this screen for a while because I haven't either. I haven't recorded this slide in like a month. The first six parts are all like pre recorded. From like a long time ago, so this is completely different. I mean, with the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. Okay, and I, how I miss being interrupted, and so, um, I know I missed one, I um, did miss one clue bottle in the last area, I had 29 out of 30, I believe, I will be going back and getting that, guys, um, cause you do need that, uh, in order to get 100%, or, I mean, uh, in order to get, um, a platinum trophy, unless I collected them all here, which I don't really want to do, since I already have most of them there. And I actually just recently stopped playing Sly 3. I beat it on the Sly Collection today. Um, so if you see me like trying to press R, oh, you can't really see me doing that. But sometimes I'll be like trying to press R1 while I'm going across an area, and like, cause it you'll you'll glide, and later in this game. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Okay, so we gotta get up there. The basic slide. Now, what did he say to do? Um, I'm just saying I gotta start from back here. Jump. Make it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not getting you, Clue Bottle. You're pointless to me. And there we go. Oh, crap. Wrong button. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Wrong thing, don't go out there. Okay, so just like any other Sly, um, or the last Sly mission, you're gonna have to take pictures in order to, um, do it. what button is it? There we go. Um, of certain qualities, and oh my gosh. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. <laughs> They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. It's right analog stick to take a picture of this, and right now this is how Bentley comes up with his plan. An electronic witch. That could be useful. Come here, Rajan. Let's get a picture of you. Pose, baby. What? Come back out. There we go. 
fan. That's him. Rajat's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Oh crap. That's the Contessa, a high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice rank. Now one thing in the Sly 2 series is it had a really good storyline, so I will be pointing out a lot of more things after this, uh, taking pictures. Carmelita's here too! She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan! So where else, um, I guess I gotta keep taking pictures of, uh, people, or animals. Jean Bisson, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Another Claw Gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Leela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Alright, so we're going to start out with Sly first, um, since he's basically the na uh, named after him. But, you notice you saw a lot of those people, this person called the Contessa. The Contessa is like, head of Carmelita and Nayla. I can't remember her name, because I haven't played this game in a long time. But, she's a big part of the story as well. All three of them are going to be a big part of the story. So, definitely be, you know, checking that out and paying attention, because this game has a really good storyline. And, I guess we can start off right here. Okay, let's go ahead and get, we might as well get the clue bottles if we uh, just flat out see them. There we are. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. What is this? Oh, it doesn't name him in this one. Oops. Sly, Murray and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. Don't you love these episodes where you have to take pictures and stuff, they're just so exciting and thrilling and an elephant just saw me. No, run away, Sly! Okay. Alright. Now, like I said, you're gonna have to go and pickpocket these things. You might want to, um, you can go ahead and take out this monkey. That way he's not gonna interfere with you. You can't really take out the elephant, but, you know, less, um, less enemies than you know, easier chance you have a uh, pickpocket pickpocketing. Now try do your best to avoid avoid this elephant up there. Cause I don't know why Oh how do you know where I am? How is that logical? Oh my god. Runs <laughs> The fascinating of the person being killed who I'm trying to capture this from, which is not my fault at all. 
Oh my god, I hate this game. I love how I'm, I do, I mean, Sly is not a hard game. I don't see why I'm, you know, failing at it. This snake, if you dare do anything to me, I will hit you. Okay, so there we go. We got the first key. Good lord, that's, you know, been tr way troublesome more than it should have been. Shouldn't have been that bad at all. Okay, so now we're going to go actually inside the gate and find some stuff out there. I love how ironically there's always a vine leading up to where you need to go. And you know how that was like the front door's locked, but ironically the window's open. You ever seen those kind of moments that are that we can like all the kinds of movies and stuff? I just find that funny. You're off the edge. Nope, you didn't fall off the edge. Now you did. Alright, so where's my next key? Where's the one nearest to me? I guess right here. Alright, let's go and get to this key. Now, after this, I'm pretty sure this one, I remember like a little bit about slide 2. I can't remember too much, even though I just played it like three months ago. That you're gonna have to go dancing with um, Carmelita. I'm pretty sure that's who it, you do it with. That, <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up the keys. See how much easier it is? Look, look at this. You don't even know I'm here. What's up? Drawbridge witch key, and then you can feel free to kill him. For those who want to know, do that movie. You just want to press triangle then square. And now one thing I really am excited for. Anybody excited for um, slight uh, four things in time? You know one thing I noticed. You know how it's called things in time. I'm wondering like what the heck does that mean? But I went back and I watched Sly. I mean I played Sly three. And you know what I found? I mer I watched the final cutscene. Bentley's talking. He says. Me and uh, Penelope, that one of the characters you find in the game, are working on a time machine. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe anybody, anybody, you know. I mean, I just made that connection because I uh, recently thought about it. I'm like, hmm, why is this called these in time? I mean, why are we are we going, you know, in the future or back in time or what? But I don't know. Uh, that was just a little theory <laughs> I had. It's pretty dumb, but it's. It's my theory. Now, somebody said you had to collect all the clue bottles in order to get the platinum trophy. Um, you actually do not have to. I went back and double checked. Um, all you need to do is collect 30 clue bottles in one level. So get them all for one level, and that'll be enough and um, to collect them uh, to get the platinum trophy. Because I do have the platinum trophy for Sly One and Sly Two, uh, Sly Three. You have to go and do these mini games, they're kind of annoying, so I haven't done it yet. Um, I've got about 83%, something like that. I have not percent of the game left, but that's how many like percent of trophies I have. I have like 80, 83% of trophies. All I have left is one trophy saying you completed 75% of the game, and the, next, the other trophy is um, completing 100% of the game. They're both gold, too. Ooh, I like gold trophies. Alright, so... How am I getting around here? Jump! Jump! Okay. Alright, key number four. One more, guys. And then it's gonna be about it. Goodbye. Where do I go? Go over here? Yes, yeah, that's where I go. Go! Jump! This game, I mean, I don't even think it really is meant to be difficult. Um, it's actually just a fun type of game. It's not really, you know, hard. Um, there can be like little mini games and stuff that are kind of annoying and hard. Um, what did he say? I can't hear you, Bentley. Oh, oh well. But yeah, the game is not really meant to be hard. Although some parts in the game can get difficult, or not really difficult, but you know those little parts in the games that are just flat out annoying and you can't beat it. And it what's ruined sometimes can ruin a game. It has kind of those, but they don't ruin the game. It just makes it hard. I don't care about stealing from you. Okay. Oh, I think I gotta do this. Oh no! What am I doing? There we go. So we got key number five. Now we're gonna have to go inside. I believe you get a tuxedo. Some part in this game you gotta get a tuxedo. Where'd we go? 
Is this opening the drawbridge in order so Bentley and Murray can get in here? That's probably it. Yeah, I think you, have, you like go to the front of the gate, and they're like, you can't in here, and you're not in, like, royal dressing or something. So you have to go out, get a tuxedo, go in, dance with Carmelita. And I love how you actually have to put the keys in this game. As in, it's like, um, one, you just had to just throw them in the air, and they automatically connected. I found that funny. Yep, that's opening drawbridge. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Um, in the next part, we're going to be going up there and completing the next line mission and then playing as some Murray, the brawn of the Cooper Clan, Cooper Groove, Cooper Gang, whatever their name is. Alright, guys, stay tuned. This is purely for your enjoyment, guys. Oh, and for my enjoyment to play video games. <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll see you guys next time. I want to play Murray's Mission to Sly. Let me do it. No, Murray can complete it. Sly can.